Dave Gonzalez, a Wasco Independence High School teacher who was seven months pregnant, was killed in a car crash in Shafter. Eyewitness News reporter Suzette Reynoso visited the school where she taught and tells us how the community is dealing with this tragic loss. Suzette. Well, I spoke with teachers, students, and community members who say they are still in disbelief that Gabriela Soto is no longer with us, but they say they will forever keep her memory alive. School is out for the summer, but dozens of people have made their way to Independence High School in Wasco. They are there to pay their respects to their beloved teacher, colleague and friend, Gabriela Soto. She was always there for the kids, everything for the kids. For those who knew Miss Soto, they say her smile, laughter and positivity lit up any room. She was an inspiration for everybody. She was a role model. She was just such a great teacher. She was amazing. Alondra Torres was one of Miss Soto's students. She said Miss Soto was there for her during one of the lowest points in her life. I'll be having like an F or like a D, and um, but then she'll like never give up on me. Miss Soto helped Alondra and many other students change their lives around. I couldn't come in here at first. I didn't want to, but just part of me said go in because I miss her. Nicole Gonzalez was Miss Soto's teacher's assistant. She held back her tears as she remembers the woman who is more than a teacher to her. She was like a second mom. People who worked with her say her dedication and love for her job was inspiring. She did things outside of the classroom that, that will stick with them for the rest of their life. In the beginning of the school year, Miss Soto started a school garden. School leaders say she planted seeds wherever she went, whether it was in the garden or in the classroom. There's always those times where you think if she wasn't, if they weren't a part of your lives, what would you do right now? And I'm happy that I met her when I did. Well, school officials say they plan on naming the school garden after Gabriela Soto in her memory, Soto's behind a two-year-old daughter, boyfriend, and her four sisters. Reporting in studio, Suzette Reynoso, I would.